Welcome everyone, boys and girls, to the wonderful AWI review. And today we're going to be unboxing the Thor Heavy Panzer Mac from Conflict 47. Alright guys, so I apologize first for the air conditioner in the background. It is sweltering today and uh, as with other videos I'm recording over the summer, uh, I do live in a temperate zone, but it's starting to feel more like a tropic zone. It's very hot. So uh, a couple of things. This is going to be the unboxing part of the uh, review of this product. There will be a final review which will have the Panzer Mech built and uh, painted up and we will talk about the, the mech at that point in time. Uh, for right now though, we're just going to unbox it and, and then later on in the video, we'll cut to tonight when I show you the completed and assembled Thor just for a build review. Um, so this video is going to have two parts and then there's going to be a second video which is the final review coming after I paint it up. So first let's look at the uh, the box art. So um, as always, you know they have really nice box art for these. Um, they're staged photos obviously but they're really well done. They have their Panzer Grenadiers running around here in what I assume is uh, either in France or Germany, somewhere in Western Europe. And then on the back we have some assembly instructions. And then we have an option on how to paint it. Um, and then a little bit of history on the Panzer Mech. Um, it says here that it has a 150 millimeter howitzer capable of reducing any building or strong point to rubble. And it also has a 20 millimeter auto cannon. Um, yeah, so down here it tells you what the box includes. One resin and metal Thor heavy Panzer Mech suitable for Cobble 47 German Army. All right, let's uh, pop this baby open and take a look here. So, packed by. Oh God, I want. I'm gonna just let the readers see. Thank you, G Man, for putting this together, or G Woman. I don't really know. Gabor, Gabor, Gabor. I'm, I'm gonna butcher that name. I'm an American. It's normal, typical for me to butcher names that aren't English. So anyway. Uh, appreciate you packing this for us. Thank you very much. As you can see, we've got a crew member there. We've got the auto cannon. We've got the hatch for the uh, the top of the, uh, the top of the turret, and then we have the. I'm assuming that's an HMG. Is it a heavy machine gun? It's either that or a medium machine gun. So that's that part. And now onto the beastly part. Yeah, that's interesting. Real quick. We've got our little crawler legs here. Got six of those. Looks to be some minor flashing on the joint. And also under here, that's easy to clean up. Um, otherwise, good crisp detail. Here's the turret with that 105 millimeter howitzer. Hmm. So I'm a stickler for symmetry, mainly because I look so so asymmetrical. But uh, that does not look symmetrical to me. I wonder if that's a miscast. Well, I'm not going to complain. I might be able to bend that with some hot water and some heat or something. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, sculpt is very well done. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Hey, zoom. Let's go. Product review here. Stop slacking. Okay. And then finally, the body. Ooh. That's interesting, isn't it? Huh. So, um, I wonder if the 
Thor uses the same body as the Zeus. It looks like the two, I mean, after you clear off all this flashing, these two parts stay. They're not flashing. They're, they help it seal. But uh, it looks like there's flashing back here, flashing over here, some minor flashing here. But they should fit together. But it's interesting that this says Zeus on the inside because if you look on the back of the box, it doesn't indicate that there's two parts to this body. It indicates that there's only one. So I'm wondering if this was incorrectly packed by Mr. G. Gabor. I don't know. But either way, uh, I'll assemble it as, as I receive it. And then I'll reach out to Warlord and I'll get an answer sometime in this video to tell you whether or not it's supposed to be one piece or two pieces for the body. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, uh, catch you guys in a split second. Well, a split second for you due to YouTube magic, but for me, it'll probably be a couple hours. So catch you later, guys. All right, welcome back, everybody. So uh, real quick, I have to apologize to this guy. Uh, he did actually pack the box correctly. The Thor and the Zeus both have two halves to the body that you have to actually combine them. Uh, I'll be frank guys, I don't like that concept at all. I'm sure there's a reason why they had to do it that way. I'm sure that the molding process, uh, it's a lot of resin and it'd be too heavy, etc, etc. There's a reason why they had to do it this way. I get that. But I personally don't like having to assemble parts that I have to fill in gaps just because I don't have the skill to do it. now. That's not a reflection on the product, just on my skill level as a modeler. Um, so three things that you're going to have to keep in mind here. You're going to need two hours to assemble this thing before you even put a primer layer on it. You're going to have to remove all the mold lines. You're going to have to clip off pieces of resin. You're going to have to file them down, sand them down. Um, you're going to have to give this whole kit a wash with detergent or washing up liquid, whatever you call it. Um, because it is a resin kit, so you're going to have to clean that all off and make sure it's, you know, all the residue is off of it before you start gluing it together. Uh, that all takes time. And honestly, even after I put it all together, I still had to go in and attempt to fill in the mold lines a little bit. And you can see, oops, I clicked, clicked it a little bit. Um, you can see that it's still not perfect. There's still, I don't know why it's not focusing here. Focus on the model. Well, um, but you can see it's still not perfect. There's still a seam there, but you know, that's again, my skill level isn't great with that. Um, the only other finicky part about this kit is the hatch on the turret. Um, this right here, because, um, eh, where's it? There it is. Uh, it, there's nothing holding it in place. So my suggestion to you is to pin it down. Um, when you're securing it otherwise if you flick it the wrong way the hatch is going to go flying off your model and you're not going to be very happy um the legs were really easy to put on in fact there's a lot of movement to the legs i don't know if you can tell because i'm not the best modeler ever but i try to put them so that they're in a walking motion um as opposed to a, st a stagnant position that's firing uh you also can trim down this bit here on the turret and Put some magnets on it so that it magnetizes the turret down to the body. I do that for anything that I can just because I think it's a, uh, a much neater thing to do. I don't have to worry about the turret flying off or whatever if my cat knocks it over or whatever. So anyway guys, um, you will get another video soon with this kit painted up. Um, again, I'm not the best painter, but I will paint it up in my um, DAK DAC theme so um yeah keep an eye out for that hopefully in the next couple of days hope you guys enjoyed this uh unboxing slash um completed build video and then we'll get into the final review uh in the next so take care guys